What's up guys, they want you another video. Today we're here in Orange County. We're in Kevin's M4 GTS, as you guys can tell. Not my car yet. I do got a couple updates for you guys. Today we don't have that many plans specifically. We're kind of just winging it. We wanted to go to Orange County. We haven't been down here in a long time. Kevin wanted to shoot some photos of the M4. Down here in Orange County, Irvine area, it's super, super nice. There's palm trees everywhere and good for photo shoots. And there's a couple things I want to do while we're down here. There's actually an exotic car dealership that I've been to plenty of times in the vlog down here in Orange County. They have like Lambos, Porsches, there's even SVJs all the time there. It's a really sick dealership and they have one special R8 that I've been wanting to look at. I've been seeing it all over online. It's a little bit out of my budget, but who knows? Maybe we could talk them down on the price. As you guys know, I've been shopping for an R8. I found one that's like a super good price. It's a steal, bro, but it's in Arizona. You might have to make the drive for that one, but this one's pretty local. It's only about an hour drive from LA. We're already down here, so let's go check it out right now. Once you guys see it, you guys will see why I want this car so bad. It's the perfect spec, Finding Nick spec, <laughs> the spec that I want. The one in Arizona is not like the perfect Finding Nick spec that I want, but we can always make it into that. This one's just already done. It's perfect. What's up, G? What's up, G? Why are we down here? We're so far from home, by the way. It took us like two hours to get here. Also, we got an update on the GTR. Finally. Finally, bro. Finally, an update. And this is a real update, not just some BS update. The GTR should be back Monday, latest Tuesday, maybe. I don't know. But next week, 100% we are going to be in the GTR. And 100% we're going to be driving the GTR. I cannot wait, bro. Finally, you guys don't understand how long I've been without my GTR. I think the first transmission when it blew was about nine months ago. Nine months, dude. Long story short, the transmission blew, a gear in it. I had it rebuilt. It took about like two months or so. I got it back. Then as soon as I got it back, I dropped it off to get wrapped. So it was gone again for like a week or so. And then I think I went out of town. So I was not driving it for another week. And then when I finally got to drive my car again, it blew up again, another gear. The GTR back to the shop, trying to get rebuilt again by a different shop this time. Point, I'm just gonna buy another transmission, guys. We found a transmission. My tuner actually is selling it. So we're gonna go to his shop home on Monday, probably, pick up the transmission, drive it all the way down to Orange County, and we'll be at the shop where we can actually install the new transmission into the car and all that good stuff. It's not a brand new transmission. It's actually a stage one transmission. I think it's used, but it's actually a really, really good deal. That's why I'm doing it. It doesn't have that many miles on it. It's actually just got a billet fork installed on it too. So it's a pretty good deal and a pretty good transmission for what it is. And it should last us a very long time. I say that because all GTR transmissions are gonna have problems. All GTR transmissions are gonna have issues at one point of its life, you know? So fingers crossed guys that this transmission lasts a long time and we can get the GTR back on the road. We're good and then i need to try to sell my transmission that i have now that we've been trying to repair maybe just sell it as a core or something or actually rebuild that one again because long story short gtr will be back hopefully monday guys and i cannot wait to have my car back and a car because i'm so tired of being passenger princess g i'm tired of picking you up <laughs> i'm bored bro like I, I miss driving i miss having fun i miss freaking speeding bro i miss going fast i don't know i'm just so bored bro Damn. And then update on the R8, like I said. Hopefully we'll go look at one today. And then there's another one that I really, really want, but it's in Arizona. Anyways, those are the two updates, guys. GTR should be back, and R8 should be coming soon, too. <laughs> the garage is gonna look wild, bro. Rich. A GTR and a freaking R8? That's that is rich. gold, bro. That is a rich ass That's garage. That's a rich garage. <laughs> and a rolly? And a rolly? Damn. <laughs> rich garage, bro. My pocket's about to be empty, G. I'm gonna be broke. No, that's just gonna be insane if we can make that happen, and that is the goal, guys. To have a GTR and R8 in the garage. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. Z06 and it's red. That's crazy. I also want that too. I want too much, too many cars, bro. Too much things. Did you ask him if he'll sell it? Ask him. I always ask him. She sounds good. Bro, how crazy would it be if we actually made that happen? R8 and GTR in the garage. And that's like a dream garage, guys. Like, I don't know, I'll be speechless if that happens. Hopefully it does. And it's so close to being there. Like, we almost are there. To having both cars. <laughs> it sucks. It's so, it's so close, but so far, so far. G. <laughs> wow. Bro, they're sick. All right, we made it to Eurocar. We've been here plenty of times in the vlog, like I said. They have a bunch of crazy cars in here. Probably like the biggest supercar inventory in the area. So let's go look in there. I'm sure there's a bunch of those cars and there's that one specific R8 that I want to look at. Check this out though. 
Kevin Park right next to his GTR. I don't know whose this is. I don't know the owner, but very, very clean. I love all the white accents on it. He literally whited out everything. The lip is white. The front bumper is white. That's usually gray. The side skirts are white. The diffuser is white. Everything's white with white interior as well. That's pretty crazy. I love the wheels. You guys know that. BBSs. I love BBSs, bro. One day, one day, I'll buy a set of BBSs. They're just so expensive. You guys want to know a fun fact? Back in the day when I had the E92, I was going to build a set of BBSs for $3,500, guys. The same ones, BBS LMs. $3,500. I don't know if that's just how much they costed at the time. This is like about five years ago, maybe. Over five years ago. So prices now for a set of BBSs, you're looking upwards to $10,000, bro. So when you guys see people with BBSs on their cars, just know they spent about 10 grand on their wheels. <laughs> All right, we made it inside. Luckily, they're letting us look around because they closed at five. How did we miss it, Kevin? You said they closed at six. Oh my God, they're, they are closed. <laughs> but he's five. like, how fast are you guys? Go look real quick and come back out. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. All right, let's look at some of the cars real quick. Again, I don't want to hold them off too much. I want to find the R8. I need to find it somewhere. I know it's here, bro. It's on their website. Someone better not come buy it before me. I'll be very mad. I think I see it on the end. But they have a crazy lineup of cars, a bunch of Ferraris, crazy ass Ferraris. Pista, wow, bro, that is insane. F8, honestly, Ferraris have grown on me a, a lot, guys. I really want one now. Oh my God, dude, no way, bro. Look how many GT3 RSs they have. The new ones, 2024s. <laughs> one in every color. If I had to pick out of these three, for sure it would be this one. This one just looks so mean and all black. Holy crap. These are insane, bro. <laughs> Shoot. One day I'll own one of these too. This is like a dream, bro. Once the new GT3 RSs came out, it became one of my new favorite cars. Cause I've always liked GT3 RSs, but like, I like the arrow on the new ones. Like, it looks like a full on race car. Should not be street legal. <laughs> the wings have little shocks on it. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it has like active arrow. Little shocks. There's so much like aerodynamic on here. Like even on the roof. Crazy. All right. Here it is, guys. This is what I've literally wanted to come look at. We drove over an hour just to come look at this car in person. Wow. Dude. So now you guys can see why I want this car so bad. It's freaking red. I think it's called, ah, I forgot the red, dude. I forgot. But it's a super rare red. They make this and they make like an orange red. Kind of like that Porsche over there. But this one's like the red, red paint. Super clean, low miles, and I uh, got the carbon fiber, everything in it. Literally, carbon fiber engine bay, carbon fiber here, the package. And I got the red stitching on the inside. Wow. Damn, I wish I had more time so I could check it out inside and stuff, but. Wow. This week, um, I plan on like doing all the bank paperwork and stuff, get approved, and then that's when we have to go find the car. So once we get approved by the bank and everything, then we can find the car. I'm already like looking for cars, so I have them on the back end. But once we get approved, then we can just come here and tell them, here, here's the check. Let me get the R8. <laughs> or go to the Arizona one, another one in Arizona. And uh, that one's not like as crazy of a spec as this, but it's still very nice. This is just like the holy grail spec that I want. Red with the red stitching inside and the carbon fiber accents. Perfect, bro, perfect, perfect, perfect. All I would do is slam it, maybe put some TEs on it, put a big wing, a diffuser, a lip, and then a straight pipe exhaust. You guys know me. She's gonna be hella loud. <laughs> I want this car so bad, dude. But it's not clickbait, guys. This is a potential one that I might buy. This exact one. Hopefully we can work on the bank stuff quickly. Maybe get a good deal for this, hopefully. Maybe talk some numbers with them. And maybe this might be the one, guys. If it is, I will be extremely happy with this one. But again, there is a really good deal in Arizona. It's a lot cheaper than this. It's actually $30,000 cheaper than this one. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's because of the color and the carbon fiber package is more, but yeah. Sick, huh? Yeah, it is a nice color. I swear I would never wrap it. Because if I get it already, no, like in any other color, red. I'm going to wrap it red. <laughs> but this is already red, and this red paint. I would just PPF it. And Got two Euruses here. Purple and green, that's a sick color. Wow, guys, I want that R8 so bad. You guys don't understand, it's perfect. Oh, I could just look at it all day. I can't wait to get one, guys. Like, it's literally a dream of mine. That's the dream car. I'm sure a lot of you guys, same as me, 
we seen that car in like Iron Man, bro, the R8, and that's became my dream car ever since. Obviously, yes, I want a Lambo, guys, but we're working our way up. I feel like an R8 is a perfect entry-level supercar. All right, before we walk out, I gotta go look at the Lambos. Oh my God, bro. Kevin, you saw that? With the orange interior? Holy crap. Look how slammed it is, bro. See, this is the end goal, bro. <laughs> Once I have this, I don't need any other car, bro. But we're working our way up. Dude, this thing is perfect. Got the orange J on it. So sick. This is literally the Kevin spec, dude. Bro, look at the mats, the floor mats. Damn. Yeah, this is the most beautiful freaking car ever. <laughs> we can go half on it, G. Look at all the carbon, guys. Carbon rear bumper, carbon wing. Wow. That is a nice spec, and I know Kevin for sure likes it with the orange accents. It's always good to come here, guys, get some motivation. I'm sure they allow people to come in, so if you guys are in the area, come check out the cars. Again, just be respectful to the cars. Don't get close to them and stuff like that. Respect them, too. It's cool to come by and like just look at these cars in person, get some motivation. It's always motivation seeing these cars, guys, because they're for sale. That means somebody's going to buy this car. And if somebody can afford this car, it's possible, guys. It's literally possible for all of us to afford it as well. Literally just work hard. That's literally the biggest thing. The guy who's going to buy these cars right now, all these, <laughs> definitely worked hard. So I like coming here and getting some motivation, seeing the goal in person, seeing it in front of me and being like, wow, this is what I need. This is what I need to work hard for. I need to post some more YouTube videos <laughs> if I want to be driving this car one day. One day, guys, I promise I will have an Aventador in my garage. SVJ. It's possible, though. Like, these cars are for sale, guys. People buy these cars. I think of it all the time. When I see people driving these cars, especially here at a dealership, like, people can afford these. How are they doing it? If they can do it, I can do it, too, bro. They're, it has to be possible. It hurts my head just thinking about it. Like, how are these people driving these cars and I'm not, bro? It literally stresses me out. <laughs> I need to work my ass off. I need to get one of these. This is a really clean spec, too. The matching interior. <laughs> the Kevin spec? Oh, it's another know, SBJ saw, in there saw, and an the STO. STO. Damn. You would take this? Yes, in a heartbeat. 100%. You would change both of your cars. Right on spot. Shut up, right dude. Now. This shit has orange on orange on orange on orange, perfect. bro. It's perfect. Oh, what the heck? Cybertruck. No, they already got one. Hi, right, G. Let's dip before they get mad at us. <laughs> Shout out to them for letting me look at the cars, too, guys, because, like I said, they are closed. And I didn't know. I thought they closed at 7, but. He was like, if you make it quick, go for it. Go look at the car So Shout out to him. Uh, I think he's the owner of the dealership. He's always super nice when we're here. Usually, like, you go to supercar places like this, and they tend to judge you, bro. Like, they judge you, think you can't afford the cars, and why are you wasting our time? But he's always cool. He always tells me, go look at the cars. Go look at them. Especially right now, they're closed. This is sick, too. Another GT3 RS. They have a lot of them, bro. Interior on this. I already told you guys before. My favorite Ferrari interior is the all red. Headliner, everything. Another SBJ. This one's been for sale for a long time. I think it was my boy's old car. <laughs> like, I actually filmed this car plenty of times on the freeway. They have it for sale now. I think you should get it. You think I should get it, G? Yeah. It was nice. I'm oh, stressed what? out finding one, dude. It's just stressful. Everything's stressful. It's clean, so I mean, we'll see. Maybe uh, our boy Joe has connections to them. Maybe they can like work some numbers and maybe drop the price a little bit for me. <laughs> if it's possible, we'll go get the red one, guys. I swear that's the perfect one. But if not, we'll find another one, I think. That's hopefully soon, guys. Uh, yeah, hopefully soon. Don't rush into it, though. Bro, I everyone's getting mad like why? Everyone's like, hurry up, get an R8. Bro, it's not a cheap car. It's I know, that's what I'm cars. trying to explain to you guys. <laughs> Trust, I'm trying to get R as fast as possible too. But you gotta find the right one. You yeah, can't just rush can't into one. So I'm trying to find the perfect one. I'm trying to find the perfect spec. That is the perfect spec. It's just the price is a little crazy. What is this bird on the freeway for? Oh my. Bro, I was about to run it over. <laughs> What's he doing, bro? I'm not trying to rush into it, but I'm also trying to hurry up. I want the car really bad, guys. Trust. Hopefully within like the next couple weeks would be freaking amazing. And then Monday, the GTR's coming back. Everything's falling into place. So hopefully it stays like that. <laughs> but soon, guys, I promise, I'm trying to work as fast as possible on both cars. We are this close to having both of them in the garage, both working, an RA, a GTR. Oh, dude, once that happens, you know how much less stress I'm gonna have in life? Holy crap, bro, I'm gonna be so happy and just relax. <laughs> Just walk to my garage and be able He's to be pick. sleeping in the GTR and then the R. Oh, I can't wait, dude. I'll be able to pick what car do I drive today. Like, think about how stressed I am, guys. I have no car. My GTR is broken. The E46 is broken. I don't have R8, dude. It's stressful, but 
We're almost there, dude. I can't wait to just relax. <laughs> Both of them there, bro. Oh, and also we gotta buy another transmission. So that's money too, G. So down payment on already. Buy another transmission for my GT. <laughs> Maybe it's a... Uh, Time to sell it? I was just about to say it. <laughs> Time to sell the Rolex, G. I guess this is meat in this random industrial place. <laughs> what? Look at that. That's 2000. I think we're in the right spot, G. It looks a little weird, but we're in the right place. Nail in my tire, bro. Holy crap, what kind of truck is that? She's huge. I guess it's a huge car collection. Oh, oh my god, I have to bat R34. And look who else met up with us. Nico in the GTR. Oh, I cannot wait to get it back. Monday! Wait, what? Monday I get it back. Monday? I hope so. I think we're gonna cruise, yes. Nico. Yes, we got you. <laughs> as soon as I get it, bro, I'm gonna go meet up with Nico. <laughs> It's gonna be the happiest day of my life, I swear. <laughs> I feel like I'm more happy getting it back than when I first got it. And the sacks right there. Nico Bizanks? Nico Bro, Banks? We were going through like some ghetto neighborhood. <laughs> What's up, you, thought, you thought you were gonna get robbed, G? Yeah. What's up? We're in Compton. Yeah. Bro. You got the. Oh, you, got, you have a jacket, so you're good. You're good. You're good. Oh my god. Oh, no way one guy owns all this, right? Nah, nah, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> I think so, bro. Full GT. What the <laughs> Wow. Nah. Holy, I don't even know where to start, guys. This is literally like heaven right here. Bro, that is not no regular Corvette, guys. What is this, bro? 8.2 liter, what? E6 RS. Guys, don't judge me, but I don't know what it is. But it looks amazing. <laughs> Got some NSXs, some JDMs, R32 GTR. All right, well, I'm gonna just go one by one. We'll check out this guy's whole car collection because I don't really know what I'm looking at. I don't know whose car collection. Bro, I don't, this is crazy. We're there's in Compton. No way, there's no way he owns all of these, bro. This, <laughs> like, this car, no, this one, he don't even, he probably don't even drive it. Well, look at that, Nismo? R33 or what? Porsche. Is this, is that is the other one. Wow, this guy's car collection is crazy. He got a little bit of everything. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> this is insane. This is like a full-on race car, bro. The interior. Jeez. Yeah, it's literally on slicks. It's literally a race car. God damn. Bro, there's more. Look. Wait, there's more. <laughs> oh, what does this guy do? Where's the owner? Nice. Man. Bro, this is wild. Oh my god, dude. That is beautiful, bro. Holy crap. Bro, it's like a barn find in here, G. wagons look at that, look all over there. <laughs> wow, this is beautiful, bro. That color's crazy. <laughs> that is so nice. Right hand drive, the inside looks immaculate, bro. Oh my God, dude. Guys, I'm speechless. I don't know where we're at. I don't know whose car collection this is. But this is wild. This is gold for sure. This is every man's dream right here, bro. <laughs> Look at that thing. What is that? I don't even know what that is. So many cars in here. I feel like that one man cannot drive all these. <laughs> if only he let me drive some of them. <laughs> I don't blame him for not driving this one. Look at that. It's fully restored. Like, mitts. The inside looks like it just came off the dealer, of the dealership, literally. Off the lot. That little thing's probably worth so much money. This is a Porsche. There's a lot of cars in here, guys. We haven't even got to the rest. Holy shit, I see an LFA. I see an R34. I see an R35 Nismo over there. Another R34 over there. We're like little kids in a candy store, bro. Chazzy Dog. Oh, there he is. Hi. Hi. How are you? We are, we're, I'm doing, I could, I could be doing worse, because obviously. <laughs> bro, what, what is this, bro? Look how many cars are in First here. First of all, we're in Bompton, right? I know, we're in Bompton, bro. How? Yeah, and then we literally pulled up, and this is all right. I didn't even know this existed. This is a piece of art, guys. Guys. Oh my god, this might be one of my favorite cars in here. The paint, guys. Midnight purple. The TE's on it, of course. Perfect. Literally perfect. I want to change one thing on that. 4 GT over here. For sure worth a lot of money, bro. And everything's so clean, too. Like, brand new, bro. R32, one of my favorite GTRs. <laughs> 2002 BMW. Bro, all these cars are worth a lot of money. A lot. Ferrari. Old school Ferrari in mint condition. Everything is in mint condition, bro. <laughs> you never see a nice Viper like this. 
anywhere. Like, it's super rare. Huge wing, dude. But I feel like these cars need it. Like, a big-ass wing like that just looks so good. All the carbon on the rear bumper. Wow, guys. All right, we're almost to the cool cars. I know you guys want to see those over there. <laughs> what? This guy literally is living everybody's like dream. Bro. He has everything. Oh my god. Isn't that crazy? E88s? Like dog, BBSs? Awesome. But this guy is living all of our dreams. More over here. More E88s. Those look like Porsche wheels. Yeah, a lot of Porsche wheels. A lot of money. A bunch of seats, guys. Recaros. Wow. With the single turbo? That is crazy. Damn, dude. Guys, again, keep in mind, we are in the middle of Compton, and I didn't even know this existed. ZR1? This shit's badass right here. <laughs> Bro, this is like worth like 750 cents. Yeah. Bro, this is so much money. Like, Bro, I'm speechless. Everyone in here actually, like I hear people, like I overhear people just walking around and everyone's speechless. Everyone has the same reaction, like where are we at? These cars are wild. TT2 RS and an LFA. Probably the best sounding car in the world. You guys comment down below. Let me know, what do you guys think the best sounding car in the world? This has to be it, right? You guys remember the commercial when these first came out and like I had a commercial of them breaking a glass bottle or something like that? I think it was like a wine glass. They put it behind the exhaust and they revved it and then it broke the glass. I remember that commercial so vividly. I was like, dude, I need that car one day. <laughs> they sound insane. That next to an SVJ. Racing sim. No way. Oh my God. Bro, I would live in here, bro. Put a room up there. Here's the R35 Nismo. Dude, the holy grail. <laughs> what every GTR owner wants. Oh, literally. So Me too, bro. It's not the same if you were to put it the kit <laughs> on your own, but... Gosh. Nah, this is like beautiful, real, bro. Look at the deal. bumper. Damn, dude. Racing sims in here, guys. This is literally every man's dream, I swear, dude. Come in here. Check this out. Man, I got the Lambo logo up there. Got the bar. Pool table. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> what is this place, bro? I did not know this place existed. Bro, this is the sickest place ever. Look. And you just look out the windows, you see all the cars. You're what? I'm blown away. I don't know how this, what does this guy do? What do you do? I'm trying to know, because I want this many cars. <laughs> I want just like a couple of these cars. Imagine all of them. Bro, nah, they would just be sitting. I want at least bro, eight cars. Eight I cars, know. max. I'm I literally wouldn't know what to drive. I swear, bro. I, I wouldn't either. I want this one for sure. I, I want that one. I, I want that one. Cars. I want that one. I want yeah, I want all of them. Look at CGT just sitting in the middle. That's not like the last car I filmed there. These are insane. Like, bro, this is some, fa some Forza shit right here. <laughs> I've only seen this car in Forza, bro. Which one would you guys take? You gotta pick one. <laughs> R34 or the R35 Nismo? Pick one right now, guys. Comment down below. Nismo or R34? All right, once you guys pick that, then we're gonna do this. <laughs> would you pick the Supra or the GT2 RS? Even harder, I feel like. But it's the Supra too. I don't know. It's so hard. Like I said, if I had all these cars, I would not know which one to drive. This one's crazy, guys. Freaking million dollar car right here. Couple mil, right? Damn, all the carbon fiber. Beautiful interior, stick shift. Sick. All right, guys, well, that was insane. I don't really know what else to film. I'm just completely speechless. Hopefully you guys are able to see through the camera how crazy this actually is, because, wow, insane. So what was your favorite car in there? You had to pick one. Oh, that's hard, bro. One, one only? Was, yeah. What? what would be yours? What? One, one car, car in there. You only pick one. Dude, why you gotta do that? I know, that's so annoying. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with one of the V specs, the GTR. Really? Yeah. What about you? For sure. Oh, that's so hard, dude. I know, there's, there's so many GT2 others, but. Two RS I know, but. Okay, wait, can you sell the car if you want to? No, you gotta keep it forever. I know, there's a lot, but still. I do the GTR V spec. <laughs> Nismo GTR. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nismo GTR. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if I gotta keep it forever, I take it back. I take it back. I'll take that. I'll take, take the CGT. I'll take the CGT. 100%. 100% CGT. I would pick. Damn, bro, it's a lot. I'd probably pick. Buy this. Over a CGT? Oh, no, I already took it, though. Over a Ford GT? I think I'll take this, bro. Actually, no, I would. This color and everything? No way. The TEs on it, the paint. I'd probably pick this, guys. This is why I get the most attention, too. Maybe. Oh, this thing is huge. 
This for sure, you could use it at the end of the world, you know? Why, if the world is ending, I'm hopping in this thing. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. This for sure a survive an apocalypse. This shit is good. Look at the wheels! Bro, <laughs> I can't even get in, bro. It's a Mercedes, too! G Wagon. G Wagon G? You think that shit on Rodeo? <laughs> Damn, that bro, shit is that bad. Is so much attention. I know. <laughs> you think so? But it should run over a Cybertruck, G. You think so, Ben? Oh, I'd destroy a Cybertruck in this. Wait, bro, this color is crazy. Wait, isn't he a rapper? Yeah, he's a rapper. Yeah, he's yeah. right there. No, I'm just oh, kidding. Oh, shit. <laughs> just kidding. What'd you say, dickhead? <laughs> he's yeah. a, isn't he a rapper? <laughs> <laughs> but it still looks crazy, the color. Damn. It's almost like my GTR. You gotta pick one out of the whole place. Did you see? Yeah. yeah. 100%? 100%. No I, I picked the R34 over there. <laughs> no, it's no, it's no. GT, bro. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. I might sip out this bottle, just drown my sorrows. Drown my sorrows, be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit.